So I just spent the past four hours building this AI cold calling real estate agent so that you can get it up and running in about 15 minutes. This is probably the easiest way to start using voice agents to get more leads for real estate. And I'm about to lay everything out so that you can start using all of this today. And if you're not familiar, you can literally set this agent loose on your entire lead list and it'll call anywhere from dozens to hundreds of leads all at once. And even with a two to 4% success rate, agents like this could bring you thousands of dollars a month in extra revenue. And because of this, I've actually seen more advanced versions of this AI cold calling system System, sell for upwards of $10,000. But today I've simplified all of it so that you can use it even if you've never built an AI agent. And luckily for us, AI agents don't care about rejection or getting hung up on. And if it happens to come across a good lead, it'll qualify them on the spot, book a meeting in, and even send them a text confirmation. So before we get into things today, for those of you who are new, my name is Mike. I help business owners and people in real estate scale while earning their time back with AI so that they can work on their businesses rather than in them. So if you hate cold calling as much as I do, then stick around and I'll give you this entire AI cold calling agent setup. And as usual, you can have it all completely for free. So let's not waste any time and get right into it. All right. So as I said before, this is probably one of the easiest ways to start using AI voice agents as cold callers if you've never used anything like this before. Now in a few moments here, I'm actually going to get into a demo and pretend like I'm one of the cold leads that this agent is calling so that you guys can get an idea of what this actually looks like in action. But as you can see, this is a super simple system. There's not too much going on here at all. And I really designed this so that anybody could use it. Now, most of the magic is actually happening in our voice agent, which you see right here on screen. And if you guys want access to everything that you see in this video, you can go down into the resources section in my description and you can download this entire agent completely for free and start using it today. All right, so before I start boring you with details, let's jump straight into this demo so you guys can hear directly from our AI cold calling agent. Hello? Hi, is this Mike? Yes, this is. Who, who am I speaking to? Hi, Mike. My name is Amy and I'm calling on behalf of the Sunset Group. We're a local real estate agency and I was just reaching out to see if you might be thinking about making any moves in the real estate market, whether buying or selling a home. Is now a good time to chat? It'll only take a minute. Yeah, of course. I've actually uh, got a couple of minutes now, so we can talk for a bit. That's great, Mike. Thanks for taking the time. So just to get a sense of things, are you currently thinking about buying a new home, selling your current one, or maybe both? Um, yeah, it's actually good timing that you ask. I'm uh, looking to sell the home that I'm living in right now. And I um, was actually starting to look for some real estate agents in town. So uh, nice to hear from you today. That's fantastic timing, Mike. I'm so glad I reached out. Selling your home is a big step. And it sounds like you're already on the right track by exploring your options to help us better assist you. Can you tell me a little more about your current home and what's prompting you to sell? Yeah, actually, um, I'm growing my family right now and we're actually trying to upgrade to a place that has more bedrooms, a bigger yard and more city access so that we can attend more events and have more access to everything that the city has to offer. So we're just looking to upsize a bit here and have some new experiences. And by the way, if you guys are actually serious about getting AI to work for you to help you scale your business or earn some time back, you can go ahead and hit my first link down in the description and I'll make you a personalized AI action plan just for you and I'll get that sent out to you completely for free. Otherwise, if you're actually curious about working with me, me in a more one-on-one -on -one sense. You could actually hit my second link down below, book us in a one-on-one -on -one call, and we can work together to see exactly what AI can do for your business. With that said, let's get straight back into the video. That sounds like such an exciting chapter for your family, Mike. Upsizing to a home with more space and better city access sounds like a wonderful plan, especially with a growing family. Do you have a timeline in mind for when you'd ideally like to sell your current home and make the move? Yeah, actually, I'm looking within the next six months if that's something that you guys can work with. Absolutely, Mike. A six month timeline is very doable and it gives us plenty of time to help you prepare your current home for sale and find the perfect new place for your family. Have you had a chance to think about the price range you're aiming for with your next home or are you still exploring options? Yeah, I'm still exploring options, but if we could, I would ideally like to keep things below $950,000. Got it, Mike. Keeping things under $950,000 is a great range to work with, and it gives us a lot of flexibility to find something that fits your needs. It sounds like you're in a great position to make this move happen. Would you be open to setting up a quick meeting with one of our real estate experts? They can walk you through the selling process, discuss your goals in more detail, and even start exploring options for your next home. Um, yeah, that actually sounds good to me. Would we be able to set something up right now? Perfect, Mike. Let me quickly check our calendar for available times. Do you have a preference for mornings, afternoons, or evenings? Or is there a specific day that works best for you? Yeah, do you have anything this Friday? Any, any time of day is actually fine for me. Let me check our availability for this Friday and find a time that works for you. We have availability this Friday between 9.30 a.m. and 12 p.m. as well as from 1 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. 
Do any of these time slots work for you? Yeah, let's do 3 p.m. Great. I've scheduled your meeting for this Friday at 3 p.m. You'll receive a confirmation shortly and we're excited to help you with your real estate journey. Your meeting is all set, Mike. Your meeting is confirmed for this Friday at 3 p.m. We're excited to assist you with your real estate journey. Mike, have a wonderful day and we'll see you soon. All right, so we just jumped off the call with our agent and I just checked my email right now. And sure enough, we do have a confirmation for that event that we just booked for this Friday at 3 p.m. And I also got a text message on my phone, which I'm gonna throw up on screen right now so you guys can see what that looked like. But this agent was able to take care of everything for me right on the spot like that. And as I said, this agent uses this automation right here to literally call dozens or even hundreds of leads in one sitting. So I'm sure you guys could see the value in this. And if you're still sticking around to see how you can actually get this set up for yourself. I'm going to take you through five easy steps that you guys can follow along with me. And because I'm giving away most of this completely for free, the setup process will be extremely easy for you. So with that said, let's hop straight into step number one. All right, so each step is going to build off of the last one. And by the end of this, you should have all of this completely set up so that you could start cold calling leads right away. So step number one is actually to schedule our calls. So if we take a look at our workflow, we're actually going to be looking at this first node right here. And don't worry, everything I'm going to be walking you through here is super simple. So essentially what's going on here is I have this set to trigger every single day at 10 o'clock in the morning. Of course, you could come down here and you could change the time to whatever works best for you, or you could leave it exactly as I have it set up here. Now, this is just going to be telling the agent to be calling people at 10 o'clock in the morning every single day, or at least when we have a new set of leads to work with. Now, with that all checked off, we could actually move on to step two, which is to add our leads. In this case, I'm using a simple Google Sheet. If you're using a different CRM or something else to track your leads, then it would be pretty easy to swap that out. But otherwise, Google Sheet works perfectly fine. In my case, my system looks a little bit something like this. Some of these do actually have data like interest and budget so we can personalize our calls if you have access to that. If you'll remember back to the demo, I was using the agent to call myself. The agent didn't have my interest or my budget to work off of, but it did have my name, my email, and my phone number, which I've just redacted for privacy purposes. Now for actually getting this set up to a Google Sheet, the only thing that you need to do is set up your Google credential, find the document that you're keeping your leads in, and then find the sheet that your leads actually live in. Now this is super simple to get up and running, which is why I like to use Google Sheets. But if you guys have any questions about how to get this set up, then feel free to drop a comment down below and I'll do my best to troubleshoot things or help you out a bit. And by the way, if you're actually interested in getting some lead sources for a system like this, you can go ahead and check out this video that I'll link somewhere up here where I actually show you how to scrape real estate leads from various sources. All right, so now that we can check off our second step of actually adding our leads, we can move on to step three, which is to actually filter our leads. And before we move on here, there's actually a little bit of a disclaimer that I wanna let you guys in on just before we get too deep into things here. So there are some laws about AI outbound callers that involve respecting people's consent and privacy. So if you're gonna connect to any phone numbers on here to be called. Make sure that you're not infringing on anything just so you don't get yourself in any trouble here. And especially if you're doing a high volume of cold calls, you just want to make sure that you have permission to call people and that you're using all of these systems responsibly. But anyways, this is really easy to set up. The only thing we're looking for is whether or not we've actually called these leads before. Now, if we look in my database, there's actually a category here called status. And every time we've called somebody that's on our list, their status will be updated to called. So essentially what this filter is looking for is any record within this database that has an empty status. But in case you're curious of what's going on, in here. We're just taking that status column from that sheet and we're checking each lead to see if that status column is actually empty or not. If it's empty, we call them. If it's not, then we don't. Now let's just make sure that we don't end up calling the same person twice, which isn't just annoying for the lead, but it's also really intensive for our resources. And it can really throw a bug in the system if you don't manage that well. So as long as you have things set up the way that I do here, you should be good to go. So with that, we're already finished with steps one through three. And so far, if you guys are thinking this is an easy agent to set up, be sure to let me know down in the comments. And now as we move on to step four, we can actually get into some of the nitty gritty of setting up our AI voice agent. Now this is where most of the effort and personalized touch is gonna to be coming through in this video. Now, as I said before, you'll have access to everything that you see. So all the connections and the agent prompt will all be set up for you. I've already done at least 90% of the work for you. All right, so here's our actual voice agent here. I'm actually using a software called Retail AI. Now, once you're actually in Retail, come over here to this button that says create an agent and make yourself a brand new voice agent. And from here, just select single prompt agent and then create it. Now from there, the main setup that we're gonna be working through here is our prompt which in this case, I could scroll through this for a second here and you can see that's actually pretty beefy of a prompt. But luckily I've actually copied and pasted this entire thing down into the Notion page in my resources in the description. You guys can just steal this entire thing. You guys will have a way easier time setting it up because of that. Now, because the call that we went through in the beginning sort of took you through the process of what this prompt is actually about, I'm not gonna go super deep into this, but just for the purposes of this video, let's take a super quick look at each of these sections here and I'll very briefly explain to you what's going on here. Now, since our role is actually establishing who this agent is, I'm also inserting some context in here to actually give the agent a little bit more background on what it's actually going to be working on. And just below this, I have a bullet point list of all of the different variables that this agent has access to. Now for each lead, some of this information may be 
empty, but no matter what, the agent will always have the name and phone number. Now, as long as you leave all of this exactly as I have it in the prompt, you should be good to go. As long as you're using the same information here, there's no need to worry about setting these variables up. Next up, the task is actually telling the agent what steps to follow as it goes through each call. I tell it how to open, how to gauge interests, how to qualify, and then how to follow through the booking process. And of course you could come in here and add any additional instructions if you want the agent to do anything more for you than what I have set up here. Now for our operating instructions, again, this is just kind of reinforcing what we talked about already here. What you're looking at here is just me telling the agent how to act, how to talk to each lead, and how to handle a couple of things that might come up throughout the conversation. As for the rest of this prompt, I just have a quick explanation of a few of the tools that I have this agent connected to and how to use them. I have some tone guidelines for how I want the agent to actually come across and talk to people. Of course, I've got my qualifying questions that I want the agent to be able to go through with everyone just to make sure that everything stays consistent. And lastly, I also have a sample conversation in this last section to actually give the agent some guidelines that just reinforce everything that we've talked about so far. If you'll remember, this will be very similar to the conversation you guys saw back in the demo. And of course, you guys could really dive into the prompt and kind of get lost in the weeds there. I just wanted to touch on the main aspects so that you guys have a basic understanding of what's going on behind the scenes. In addition to that, you don't really have to worry too much about these settings just for this case. And especially for keeping things beginner friendly here, I just want to focus on what's essential. But in terms in terms of settings, you could actually come up here, right here where it says GPT-4.0, and you could pick whatever AI model you want to be working with here. I use 4.0 just because it's pretty economical and I just like its performance. And for the voice, you could actually customize this if you go under this category right here that says CMO. And you could scroll through all of these voices and pick whichever one you think aligns best with whatever your brand is or whichever one you kind of like the best. And if you really want to get clever, you could even add a custom voice in here. And now the final thing I want to take you guys through within our voice agent is actually a couple of the functions that I have set up. Now these are all of the tools that the voice agent has. I actually gave it the ability to book a meeting, to check my calendar availability, to end the call, and also send a text message confirmation. Now let me take you through these one by one, starting with our book a meeting tool. Now this tool is actually set up with a service called cal.com and it just makes it really easy for you guys to book appointments. Now in order to actually get this set up, you'll have to come into your cal.com account and actually get your API key and just paste that right in here. And you can actually find that in the settings if you come down onto the left sidebar, find API keys, and then come over here and just create a new one. Now once you have that, you're actually going to want to get one more thing from Cal. Now we're going to be setting up a specific meeting type in order to connect to this agent. In my case, I just have a basic 15 minute meeting just for demonstration purposes. You're also going to want to come up to this URL and copy the number that you see right here between the forward slash and the question mark. Once you have that, just paste it in your event ID, paste in your API key, and then you'll be all good to go. And for your check availability tool, you're going to do the exact same steps. Paste in the exact same API key and the exact same event type ID, and you should be all good to go for both checking calendar availability and booking actual meetings. Now those are the hardest ones to actually add here. The next two are super easy. And by the way, for every function I'm adding, all you have to do is hit this add button right here. All of these options will show up for you. The next one is actually end call and you literally don't need to do anything to get this one set up. This one already comes pre-set up and the same is true for our send SMS. But the only thing I would recommend you add to this one is just a basic prompt under SMS content. And in this case, I've just told the agent to kindly inform the user that their meeting has been booked and just mention the date and time of the meeting. Now, aside from that, you don't really need to worry about any of these other settings unless you want to get more advanced. But one thing you will want to do is purchase a number for this agent so you can actually connect it to our automation. Now that's a very simple process, but if you have any questions about it, you can let me know down in the comments and then I can help you guys out with that there. Now with that, we're almost done setting up our voice agent. The last thing we need to do is actually connect that agent into our automated workflow in N8N. And that is going to be going on right here within this node right here. If you guys download this, you could follow all of these instructions that I have in this note right here. Otherwise, I'll take you through it really quick right now. Now this might look like there's a lot going on here, but there's only a handful of things that you guys need to change in order to get this to work. Everything else can literally stay the same. The first thing is that you're going to come under header parameters right here. And then after this word bearer, where you see this little key phrase, you're going to insert your API key. Now you can find this in your retail dashboard. If you come over here on the left hand side to keys and simply copy this key right here and then paste it in this spot right here after the word bearer. Number two, you're actually going to come down here under this JSON section right here and open up this window. The first thing you're going to do is change your from number up here. Take this number out and change it for whatever number you purchased for your agent. For your override agent ID, go back into your main agent, come up here to the top and find where it says agent agent ID, hit the little copy button right there, then just paste that right in here where it says override agent ID. And with that, you can leave all of these variables the same if you're, if you're using the same setup that I am. Otherwise, you could just remap all of this data using whatever nodes that you've actually executed before. And you can also come in here under the variables and add anything else if you have access for a couple more types of data than I did for this demo here. Other than that, this is a very simple setup and you should be up and running if you did everything that I just told you guys about. Now with that said, we've officially set up our entire 
voice agent, which means there's only one more step to do for this entire workflow, which is to actually update our leads and activate this entire system to start running. Now the fifth and final step will be another Google Sheets step, but this time we're actually gonna be updating the status of each lead after we call them. So again, you're gonna follow the same exact steps that you set up for your initial Google Sheets node. You're just gonna make sure that you connect it to the same Google Sheets account, connect it to the same document and the same sheet that all of your leads are connected to. Now under here, we're gonna be matching the column by name. And from here, I've just dragged in the actual name from the Google Sheet of each lead that we've been calling here. This just allows us to match every single column to the person that we have just called. And you can leave all of these categories blank except for status, which I've just manually typed in the word call. And with that said, we could check off step five and now we're officially done with this entire AI cold calling system. So I'm not sure how we did on video time, but I hope I was able to get everything explained to you within that 15 minute window. I hope you guys can see just how simple this entire automation is. As you can see within our actual N8N dashboard, we were able to complete this entire thing with just five nodes and then get that all hooked up to our custom AI real estate cold caller here in retail. Now, if you've ever done any cold calling before, I'm sure you hate the process of pulling lead lists, calling everybody manually, getting rejected, and only coming out with a handful of leads at the end of the day. But again, this entire system, if you use it properly and get it customized to really fit whatever your needs are, this could be the difference between thousands of dollars every month. And of course, this was a very simplified version of that entire system. But in the end, I hope you guys are able to see just how valuable this can be. And I hope you're able to kind of follow along with these instructions. And if you stayed all the way to the end, I really appreciate you for watching. Now, if you're serious about actually getting AI to work for you, you actually want to scale your business and earn your time back, and you happen to own a company or you're in real estate, go ahead and hit my first link down in the description. I'll make you a personalized AI action plan just for you and get that sent out to you completely for free. Otherwise, you can hit my second link and actually book a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me so we can figure out what AI can actually do for your business, or I can actually help you build out this exact system you see on screen right here a little bit more. Thank you all again for watching. Be sure to let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed this video. And with that said, I'll catch all of you guys in the next one.